Uh, hey, Bart. I want you to help me with a friend of mine. He is the owner of a company that does title searches in Florida. I want you to help me be, help me help him be more productive and effective as day-to-day -day activities. How could you do this? Uh, generate reports, answer questions, write emails and letters, schedule appointments. Bard can the schedule appointments on behalf. Let's see, manage social media. I don't know about that. Create marketing material with Bard. Provide support. That's interesting. All right. So, all right. Let's here. Let's start with um, something simple. So generate reports, answer questions, emails, letters, analyze data. Okay. I think I like analyze. Okay, that's a good idea. So now, with these items in mind, I want you to come up with ten amazing things that Bard can do that would help the owner of a title research company in Florida and the company and the owner to be more productive and to be more effective. Give me a list of 10 amazing, outstanding things that are simple to do. All right, let's here, let's start with um, something simple. Generate reports, answer questions, emails, letters, analyze data. Okay. I think I like analyze data. Okay. Found this article. It says 40 year lease agreements. Um, so, because I have no idea about this stuff, I'm going to ask Bard to summarize it and analyze it for me. Let's see what this, let's see what Bart's got here. Okay, I found an article below and I want you to summarize and analyze it, pulling out only the most important parts that I need to know if I own a title research company in Florida. Here's the article below. All right, and this is what Bard produced. So to summarize it, this article discusses the legalities of 40-year listing agreements in Florida. The office is currently investigating real estate brokers that offer to pay homeowners between $300 and $5,000 in exchange for a 40-year exclusive listing agreement. Wow, that is crazy. Legal in Florida because, okay, Bard, I want you to write an email to my customer, Errol Flynn, explaining why it took so long for this title research to be done. Uh, I had 15 due. I want you to make it heartfelt, very sincere and personal. Um, and I also want to make sure that he feels good about working with me, doing business together. He's been a customer for a very long time, at least six years now. And I just want to show some gratitude. Just a quick thank you note, you know? All right. Dear L. Flynn, I hope this email finds you well. I'm apologizing for the delay in completing your title research, your recent property purchase. I know you're expecting a report, a few factors, blah, 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 blah. The cool part about this, you can actually dive in, dig in, and expand any one of these particular things. And just what I'm talking about, make it really heartfelt, act as if I am in love with him, um, but I don't want him because I'm married to a woman. Rewrite the letter, please, in this manner. Hope this email finds you well. I'm apologizing for the delay. You know you were expecting the report. A few factors considering. Very complex history. But truth be told, I was struggling with some personal issues. I've been in love with you for a very long time. And it's hard for me to keep my feelings to myself. I know that you're married and I respect that, but I couldn't help but to let my feelings get the best of me. All right. Yeah, that's a good one for you, buddy. Um, mystery. All right. So let's go on to the next one. So in the list of 10 that you provided, I'm curious about two of the actual items that you have on here. Um, it is scheduling appointments and providing support. 
how can Bard do this for my friend, the business owner of the title research company? Okay. In the list that you provided, I have a question about two of the items. Provide support. How can Bard provide support to the owner? Uh, and it can help them troubleshoot and improve their efficiency. And also, how can Bard schedule appointments for customers on behalf of the owner? I didn't know you could do that. Tell me how. Okay, so this is interesting. So Bard can provide support uh, by pretty much answering questions about title research, but double check the title research because the information is only as good as it's put in. Uh, and people type fat finger things all the time. So troubleshooting problems, providing advice on how to improve efficiency. Uh, Bard, cool. Uh, Bard can actually help you stay up to date on latest laws and regulations. Uh, that is definitely something I know Bard can do 110%. Uh, scheduling appointments on behalf of the title company and the owner. Uh, the schedule availability of customers. Bard can also send out reminders. Oh, Bard has a timer on here. All right, let's see what the team came up with. Here's your schedule reminder, Dennis. We, you're Dennis next week, Tuesday. Your name, hi, I'm a Dennis next week, Tuesday. And how can I send this reminder to me? Can I attach it to Google Assist to have it automatically remind me? Okay, well, that's cool then. So this is the instructions on how to do that. So I can pretty much tell you to do anything I want you to do have Google Assist, uh, make sure it happens. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so I really like this one right here, creating marketing material. Um, Mr. Yee, you may find this interesting. I'm not sure if you use it that much, but Bard can pretty much write anything you want. So I'm gonna tell Bard, Bard, I want you to write a two paragraph document about researching titles in the state of Florida and why you need to do business with me. First of all, uh, Mr. E has been in business 30 plus years, um, great reliable source uh, and a friend you can count on. He always gets the job done. All right, here it is right here. Title research in Florida. If you're buying, selling a house, title research, comparison examinations, this is important to ensure there are no title defects. Why should you do business with me? Oh, that's good. Now, something really interesting. Okay, because I cater to many different ethnic backgrounds, I want you to rewrite it in Spanish, German, and Hebrew. Okay, and here are the translations for Spanish. Here are the translations for German, and here are the translations for Hebrew. So if you have anybody who is ever bilingual, or doesn't speak your language, you can have it do it really quickly. Ah, side note, mystery. The reason why we couldn't get that information earlier is because it's telling you right here that it is trained on massive amounts of public data. It can't log into certain websites or databases that are restricted to certain users that need like um, an access code, password, or something like that, such as the ones you have to pay subscriptions for. If that makes sense. So that's why we kept getting Jane Doe and Jan Doe. All right, because I'm a newbie, uh, let's start from scratch. Bard, provide me with all the information that is usually requested in doing a tile search in Florida. Okay, here's everything that it provided, property address, description, blah, 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 blah. So I want you to take all of these and apply it to the address 836 48th Avenue North, St. Petersburg, Florida, and provide me with a list of everything that is needed to do a title search in Florida. And if you can't get it, I want you to provide me where I can find it. Okay, I also want you to tell me if there are any easements or restrictions on the property, on the property and if there's any litigations going on in the property. Okay, now I want you to build a document, make it clear and concise with all the information you provided me about this address. Uh, it's going to my customer. My name is Michael Evans, and the customer's name is IC Freely. Please start. 
Okay, here's what it produced. All the information, of course, not the information that you can't be given because you need passwords for certain websites. The conclusion and Michael Evans. Last but not least, I want you to tell me about the land and research company owned by Michael Evans in Florida. It's a title search company. All right, so I asked about your company, land and research company, St. Pete, Florida, established 1990. Five people experienced deception unfair trade practices. The article also discusses the potential. Uh, you know what? You can pause it and read it yourself. But as you can see, that's pretty interesting. So let's go on to the next one. And the next one would be, let's see, answer questions and write emails and letters about this stuff. I'm going to ask Bard to summarize it and analyze it for me. Okay. I found an article below and I want you to summarize and analyze it, pulling out only the most important parts that I need to know if I own a title research company in Florida. Here's the article below with 10 amazing things that Bard can do that would help the owner of a title research company in Florida. And the company and the owner to be more productive and to be more effective. Give me a list of 10 amazing, outstanding things that are simple to do. Hey, Bard, I want you to help me with a friend of mine. He is the owner of a company that does title searches in Florida. I want you to help me be, help me help him be more productive and effective in his day-to-day -day activities. How could you do this?